Perfectly good. Head butt to the stomach. Good for him, Africa. Three, stand back, south, four, five. Six. Ropes. Ropes break, says Ropes. Jeff Tay. Stand back, south. check and it didn't really work for Jones he had the impetus from the ropes he smiles there he realizes that he should have done much better on the timing of that one no, no. No. side head off again ready for the side head off again and the swinging up and another Third one gets him down, 30 seconds left in the second. Well, there's a submission hold, I should think, very possible here, but he's only got just 10 seconds to get it in. He's got those arms laid back with the legs, the hands operating on the head, but he's not making it, and the bell will beat it will save Johnny South there. I bet he was glad to hear it. Let's go over to Marty Jones' corner because uh, it's a very interesting point about Marty. Although he's the light heavyweight champion of Great Britain at the moment, he's overweight for that weight. He's up to the 15 stone mark now, which is well over the light heavyweight limit. And he'll have to train down so hard that he might even go for the mid heavyweight title. Now, now, uh, vacated of course by the unfortunate death of Mike Marino. Seconds away, round three. Yes, Mike Marino who held that uh, British mid-heavyweight title for a long time. On his death of course it becomes vacant and Marty Jones could be one of the likely ones to have a try for it if he can't get his weight down to light heavy. There's the full boss who grabbed Jones and the first submission possible to Jones here. Beautiful backdrop by Johnny Sarr. Beautiful up with that leg just right by Jones, having taken that tremendous backdrop. But South going to make it. Jones getting in quickly, but not quickly enough, and South kept the arms. As the Jones went for the leg, so beautiful timing by South. He's tired and he's laying back, but he's leading by one fall and L in just one and a half minutes of round three. Johnny South, excellent move, a counter move, very quickly operated. Full Jones. Hey, one minute, 30 seconds of round three. First fall of the contest goes to the right corner, and Johnny South. Johnny South. And really good move. Jones was going in for the kill there for certain with that double leg grab, going to turn his man around over Boston. And Johnny South saw it coming, grabbed the arms before he got there, took his man in a folding person episode. Beautifully done, but there are five rounds to go. Second away, round four. Now, Marty Jones won't, won't like trailing at all. Just as he thought he'd got the upper hand there. And he so nearly did. Another split second yeah! of the order. Nice cross buttock by South. Continuing the good work here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 
don't think they can get anywhere from that. Agreeing to a stalemate. So slick from Jones. I think uh, Johnny South really white. Comes back with a body check. Good posting. Going to try another one. This time Jones waiting for it and comes back with a forearm. And another one. And the drop kick. Now that's one of the light heavyweight champions' best moves. And he goes over the top of the folding press from the side. And Jones must have the equalizer here. No problem. No problem. Just under two minutes in the round four. Jones, the equalizing fall, one each. And round four, the rolling crotch and shoulder press. The equalizing fall goes to the British light heavyweight champion, Marty Jones. Marty Jones. Good move, but his speed really came in for him then. Johnny South seems to be arguing about, oh, no, he's not. I'll free his hand. Beg his pardon. Not sure that Jones is too willing to take it. A bit suspicious, but he took it. Seconds away, round five. Well, Jones wouldn't even go to his corner after that take. Well, as you fall, he wants to continue the good work. He's got the chance. One fall each now, four rounds to go, and the next scoring shot is the one that counts. And it could go either way here. Johnny South doing very well against the that heavyweight champion. Restless bridge there by Jones. Taking those shoulder blades way off. And South doesn't think he can break. Flying yeah. tackle, Jones. Beautifully taken. Goes into loose balance, but the cross press didn't work. Another one beat by Johnny South and his cross press. But no, that didn't work either. Over the top of the ref, who wouldn't get out of the way, folding press, but Jones goes right the way through. And Johnny South is just holding him back there, I think, from falling on his head. Yes, he was. But he still wants to continue the move, now he's got him back. He thought he might get the advantage from it, I thought it was good sportsmanship, I'm not sure. Bit of a bit of each there. Nelson Jones. No chance now. No problem for Johnny South to get one shoulder blade after the other off the canvas. Uh, he's got a release when they break. <laughs> it may be worth trying that trick, but it didn't work. And now the South has lost his cool, and so has Jones. Now the boat will go out of the window from now. It'll be all four arm smashes, I'll bet. Yeah. Referee Jeff K trying to get him to cool him. Maybe a little bit late. There's that few seconds apart. Might have cooled them off a little bit. So it's a good bout. Pity to ruin it by just a whole series of forearm smashes from both sides. 